Finally, if we let our little plane leave the Earth and fly off into space, then to locate it, we need to give three numbers, latitude, longitude, and the altitude above the Earth. Since we now need three numbers to say where we are in outer space, we say that space is three-dimensional. Look at the paintings on the wall. There's a portrait of Ptolemy, the father of map making. How do we draw the Earth? One method is to project it onto a plane. Let's choose a city, Dakar, for example. We draw a straight line from the North Pole through Dakar. Our line hits the table at some point that we call its projection onto the table. Any point on the Earth's surface can be projected onto the table in this way. The closer our town is to the North Pole, the farther away its projection on the table is. In fact, it can even end up off the table. For this reason, we say that the North Pole doesn't have a projection or, more correctly, that its projection is at infinity. The whole Earth, with the exception of the North Pole, can be represented on the plane of the table. This map of the world is called stereographic projection. Of course, our stereographic projection doesn't preserve sizes. South America appears tiny compared to North America. To get a better idea of what this projection does, we'll roll the Earth along, just like a giant ball. And we'll always project from the highest point. The projections of the continents waltz around in the plane, taking turns at becoming bigger and smaller. But if we take a closer look, we see that shapes don't change, even if lengths do. For this reason, we say that stereographic projection is conformal. What happens to the meridians and the parallels under the projection? When we project from the North Pole, the meridians become radii emanating from the South Pole. And the parallels, concentric circles. And as the Earth turns, you see that both the meridians and parallels always project to either circles or straight lines. Stereographic projection transforms circles drawn on the sphere into circles drawn on the plane. 
except for those circles passing through the pole from which we project, whose projections are in fact straight lines in the plane. Now here's our rolling earth from below. From this point of view, we see the meridians and parallels form two bundles of circles. All of the meridians converge at two points, the north and the South Pole. Recognize this one here? Yes, it's the Greenwich Meridian, the end of the first stage of our journey towards the fourth dimension.